Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome back to Royal D Podcast. I just have a little video that I'm going to drop for y'all guys today. Um, it's a little disturbing video. Um, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know how y'all feel about this video. But it is a very sad video. Um, This guy, I think he's a... She looks like he's a young guy. Maybe he could be in his 20s or something. And I think he played football or something. But something happened to him. And it had something to do with a brain injury. And he was put in the hospital in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the hospital failed him. In this video, you want to see how the father tried to rescue his son. In the hospital, y'all, something the doctors should have been doing. But from the mother and the father, they wanted to pull the plugs on their son. But their son was not deceased. Okay? They said the doctors wanted his organs. Okay, and this is what comes out of the mother and the father mouth. Now, I did, I don't have the whole video. I might can get some more of the video because I did watch the whole video somewhere else. So if I can get the whole clip and I will um, do a part two to this video. Okay, the hospital calls the police and they call the security in the hospital to remove the mother, the father, and the sister. They was trying to get their son to another nearby hospital for the son. The father was in the hospital doing the doctor's job, trying to bring his son back to life because they said it was nothing else they can do for the son. But the father did not believe that. The mother did not believe that. The sister did not believe that. They had the faith in God that their son was going to survive. Okay? Now, this happened on August the 1st, which I think that was... I think that was last Wednesday or last Thursday that this took place at um, this hospital in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, so it is very disturbing. Um, I want y'all to give me a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section, and let me know how y'all think about this video. Why did they put the mother and father out the hospital and the sister? This was very heartbreaking to me. Okay? And it's sad because sometimes we can't even trust the police. We can't trust our hospitals. Who can we trust? God said, put your trust in nobody but me. But the father say that he will be getting a lawyer. And he's going to sue the whole hospital. Okay? So I'm going to drop this video. I want y'all to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And let me know how y'all feel about this video. Um, And I'm going to drop my coffee link if anybody want to buy me a coffee. And I'm going to drop my cash app if anybody want to send me a cash app. And my supporters that's going to be with the meeting today with me, I will see you guys at 315. I love you guys. Peace and blessings. See you in the next video. Yes. Because Dr. Herman, from he won't the, come in here. He won't come in here. He still got a heartbeat. That, my son has a heartbeat. They told me that they wanted my son's organs. When they first pronounced him uh, that he had brain trauma, and I told them they that they, they keep cutting the air off now. They keep cutting it off.
They're controlling me from the outside. Now they heard you cut it back now off and they heard you say it. We see what y'all doing out there. We see you. We see you. I promise you, you're going to do it. I promise They're you. They're trying to kill my face. son because they want to. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna come spit on your on your grandma's grave. Then your then your pop. They all your family, I'm gonna piss on their grave. I promise you that. And that's live for me. That's I, Bishop look, talking. They look. They cut it off. Look. They cut it off. Yeah. She keep. It fell. Yeah. They doing it. They doing it. Come on, son. Come on. Come on, T. Come on, Pat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell him to 